The number one thing that every athlete should do is look at the workout and estimate how much time it's going to take you to finish. And that's why great people are great athletes is because their accuracy in predicting the total amount of time is very precise. So let's just say that you know it's gonna take you 20 minutes and you have 400 meter running intervals in there. How do you know the target pace to run at? A lot of people in CrossFit, they go way too fast in the open 400 and then they get slower and slower and slower. They hurt the same in interval number one as well as the final interval, but what did their muscles learn to do in that workout? They learned how to go fast and suffer in the beginning, and they learned how to go slow and suffer at the same level. You just taught yourself to hurt real bad and go slow. You want to teach the body about consistency based upon the time domain. So if you know it's 20 minutes, then I would ask you, what do you think a running pace that you could sustain and hold on to and maintain for a total amount of 20 minutes? So for Jason, it would be his 5K time. Right? So I could take his 5K time and I could use that as his target 400 meter pace in that workout. Now, if you don't know, again, you're gonna make a guess, a real good guess. And the question is, after you finish the workout, you need that athlete to reflect, to take some ownership. Was that a good guess in terms of the total time domain, as well as the pace that you picked for your run? And now you refine it and that's how you become better. But if an athlete doesn't actually take any ownership and they just come to the coach and say, what do you think? Then it's your fault. I mean, it's a good way to put it, right? It's a 20 minute AMRAP, 400 meter runs. It's like, hey, how, what, what pace do you run 20 minutes at? Let's just say it's a two minute 400. Okay, well every 400, I want you to run at that yeah. two minute pace. It's like, that, it's just a good way of looking at it. Like, simple. It's, it's as simple as saying, what pace could you run for 20 minutes? whatever that pace is. Yeah, at the end of the day, we're, t we're training your muscles. Yep. Yeah. And unfortunately, people forget that. They think that I worked really hard and I ended working really hard. Right. Yeah, but what was your speed? What did your muscles learn to do? You taught them to suffer and go yeah. slow. And that's the importance of pacing.